Hey, welcome to our channel Techno Savior. So in our last video, I explained what is RSA, how does it work, and when to use it. And also, I said that I'll be showing you an example of how to use RSA encryption and decryption using Node.js in my upcoming video. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use RSA encryption and decryption using Node.js. So for this, we're going to use a library or package that is Node RSA. So we will be going to use this Node RSA package. So first of all, you need to have Node installed in your system in order to use this package. For this example, I am going to use Visual Studio Code IDE. So in order to get started, first of all, we need to install Node RSA. So I will open the Visual Studio Code extension over here. So first of all, we will do npm install Node RSA. So it will start pulling the package from the internet. So as you can see, it has downloaded Node RSA and now you can start using Node RSA. So here is a basic example of how to use node RSA. So basically we are going to require this package. Then we can generate a key using the this format. This is the length of the bytes like 5, 12, 1, 0, 2, 4. And uh, after that it has given a sample example. Uh, so I'm going to show all these steps. So let's get started. So first of all we need to include the package. Constant node RSA code so we are just going to require this package node rsa okay before that i can just save this file with the name of uh, demo.js so that i start getting intellisense so by following this example again we can create a key so any encryption and decryption technique needs a key but in our case remember there are two keys one is public key, one is private key. I'm going to demonstrate all of those in this video. So let's first of all create a key, constant key, new node RSA. And we are, there are different syntaxes. We can tell how many bytes, key bytes we want. So I will mention bytes. So instead of uh, 512, I'll just make it 1024. Now we need to create a secret text which should be encrypted. This is a non-reliable secret. Okay. Now we are going to encrypt this. So the encryption part is very easy. And so for this we have uh, different kind of methods that is exposed by node RSA packages module. So we can just use this encrypt. So the encrypt expects the first parameter to be the data and second parameter is encoding type. So our data is the secret. And if we don't give any encoding type, then this one is going to return the response in bytes, which we don't want. So we will ask it to give it data back in base 64 format. Okay. Now, just for viewing the response, we'll just log. So now quickly run this one and we'll see the example. Okay. As you can see the encrypted string is this one. And it is definitely not readable. So we encrypted this. Now let's try to decrypt the same string. So we can use the same key object to decrypt it. So last time we sent a plain text format, but since we are going to decrypt, so we have to send the encrypted string format. And here also we need an encoding type. We can send it as base64, but again if we send it as base64, we need to decode it so that it becomes readable. So instead of using base64, I will directly use UTF-8 format so that it directly comes as readable format okay oh, okay var let we can use anything and okay now let's log the same thing now let's see the result again okay so as you can see the first line is the encrypted one so we did log here and next is the decrypted one 
okay so one thing to notice over here is we have used the same key so it might look like we are using a symmetric algorithm this key is actually a combination of public and private key so what it does is so what it does is while encrypting it uses the public key and while decrypting it uses the private key okay so we will see this in more details so in order to extract the public key so what we can do is okay for right now what i will do is i'll just comment out this code so that it does not execute okay so in order to extract the public key and the private key there are very simple methods so again i will create a new variable now key dot export key now which key you want to export is public so this will tell us which is the public key so similarly we can also export the private key key dot export key sorry now this is going to be private so this will list down the public and private key so we will log it so that we can view which is what is the public and private key so first we are going to print the public key okay and just give it a next line so that we can see the difference clearly okay now let's clear this one and i'm going to run this and we can verify by saving this public and private key and we will try to encrypt and decrypt a text based on this generated key so we will try to do this now just use the same variables public key will just overwrite it with this copy paste it in order to keep the format same we will append some characters so we will add a next line here then we will close the quotes and we will add a concatenation so we are going to repeat this process in rest of the string over here here and we are going to close it so now this becomes our public key and private key similarly we are going to copy this private part Okay, let's close this we are going to do the same thing so that it becomes a proper string I'm just going to copy it from the top now append it all over this place here and we are going to close this so now we have created our public and private key so we are not going to need any of these things we don't even need the key so now we are going to use only these two keys in order to encrypt and to decrypt okay so we are going to use the public key for encryption and the private key for decryption then we'll see what if we try to decrypt using public key are we successful or do we get the error so we'll create a new object uh, let's call it key underscore private and it has to be a new node rsa and here we are going to pass the private key okay similarly we will create a different key this time and this is going to be key public here we are going to pass the public key remember all the previous codes are commented so we are just going to use this public key and private key to encrypt and decrypt okay so again the text that we are going to encrypt is secret so in order to encrypt it we are going to use public key to encrypt let's write it down public key for encryption and 
प्राइवेट की फॉर डिक्रिप्शन सो नाउ की पब्लिक डॉट एनक्रिप्ट सो अगेन वे आर गोइंग टू नीड द टेक्स्ट दैट हैज़ टू बी एनक्रिप्टेड ओके द नेम इज नॉट टेक्सट इट्स बेसिकली सीक्रेट सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव हियर इज टू शो दैट ए सिंगल की इज नॉट यूज फॉर एनक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन एंड हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू अचीव इट इन नोट जेस ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज बेस सिक्सटी फोर फॉर्मेट सो दैट इट बिकम्स रीडेबल ओके सो वेर encrypted string equal to okay let me show you if we don't use base64 what happens and we are going to log this and we'll quickly run it let's clear this part so as you can see we received a bytes so this is difficult to read and store so what we are going to do is we are going to encode it with base64 now if we try to run the same thing we get a encrypted string back so we are going to decrypt this encrypted string using a different key that is the private key so as you can see it is not the same object so we will again try to decrypt it with public key and we'll see whether it returns a successful result or not where decrypted string equal to private dot decrypt so here we are going to need the encrypted string back okay so let's do one more thing instead of taking that actual encrypted string we'll take this one we'll see whether it actually works or not and again we are going to send the encoding type and we are not going to send it as base64 because again we have to decode it so directly i am going to send utf8 format okay so we are going to log it so that we can see the actual plain text value result dot log decrypted string okay so now let's run it okay great so it is returning you the plain text value so as you can see we use the private key for decryption okay and we could have used the encrypted string directly over here just for uh, cross checking so that it actually is the same one or not i have used the actual data just to re verify i'll remove this one and i'll send the encrypted string and we'll see whether it is returning us the plain text or not okay so as you can see it returns us back the plain text now let's try to see what happens if we try to decrypt it using the public key so since we have already created the key over here we are going to use the same object to decrypt it like in the previous example i used the same key for encrypting and decrypting you can see here the same key was used for encryption and the same key was used for decryption so we are going to decrypt it using the public key so it's key underscore public dot decrypt encrypted string comma again we need to give the encoding type so it is going to be utf8 and let's see what happens we are going to directly log it anyways we all know that it will not work because it can only be encrypted using the public key but decrypted only if you have the private key so here it is telling that uh, this is not a private key so the error clearly tells that this key object does not contain the private key due to which it is unable to decrypt whereas this key object was able to decrypt because it contains both the public and private key so this is how we can use asymmetric encryption and decryption technique using node rsa library so hopefully you got to know how encryption and decryption works using node js if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below 
if you learned something new today then hit that like button and if you are new to our channel then definitely subscribe to our channel for upcoming new videos so in my next video i'm going to cover how to perform asymmetric encryption operations in c sharp